Hey, what's up, everybody? Rob Cohey. Welcome to part 10. The Diaz, the Pele of the series. This one we're going to talk about um, how to make exploded views, so how to disassemble. Um, in Fusion, we've got a number of different workspaces, and the whole series we've been focusing on using the design workspace because we're designing. Um, the animation workspace, one of the uses, I want to stress this, one of the uses is to document an exploded view for the purposes of putting it on a drawing. So we've got a number of different tools to do it. We can animate, we can make videos of the animation, and I'll, that's not what this video is about. What this video is for is I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to create an exploded view for the purposes of putting it on a drawing. Okay. Now what we've done here is we've called up the, um, the transform component uh, command. And all I'm doing is I'm disassembling this assembly as though it were a physical piece of machinery and I'm taking it apart in the same progression that I would have otherwise put it together. Right. There are other ways to do this, and you can you can do some cool things with view transitions if you wanted to animate this thing. But again, that's not what I'm trying to do here. So the method that I'm using just says, all right, all the parts that need to go off in one direction, I'm going to incrementally move them away from their home position. I'm using the, I, I, have, a, I have a Mac here, so I'm using the command key to grab another or add to the selection set right and in windows you'll use the control key um but i'm just adding to the selection set so that i don't have to do each of these moves in a different command um again if i were animating these i'd, I'd do it differently but all i'm doing is create an exploded view so using the uh, the command key I'm, I'm command or control i'm grabbing the one i want dragging it in the right direction and as i zoom out from this first transform command that I'm going to do, you'll see that just using this technique, it, it saves so much time in setting these, these views up. Okay, so now I'm going to go in the other direction, grab the transform again, I'm, I'm going to grab the components in the manner in which I was, you know, if I had a screwdriver and I was disassembling this thing, this is, this is progression that I would do. Hold down the control key, grab the next one, or the next two in this example and drag it out. Now this is where it gets a little tricky when you have a, a constant active command is, uh, you know, you're, you're kind of living a little dangerously, right? So what, what happens when you misclick? What happens if you click on the wrong one? Um, you know, if you click on the wrong one, just, you know, keep the command key held down, click on it again, it'll deselect it, right? So you don't have to exit out of the command or anything like that if you misclick and grab the wrong component. Um, you know, just kind of slow down a little bit, pay attention to what you're clicking on, that'll definitely help. Okay, so I've got them all out, stretch out the, in the direction that I want, and in this last one, I kind of I kind of messed up a little bit. I actually wanted the gasket to be a little bit closer to that end cap, but that's cool. I don't have to end the whole command. Um, again, since I'm not animating these, I can do this transform um, independently. You know, and sometimes when you're when you're animating these things, you have to go back and find the transform and your um, in your animation timeline and, and modify it. But here, you, you guys can tell that down at the bottom of the screen, I've minimized my animation timeline. All right? I'm, I'm not going to concern myself with the start and stop and the record and, 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 and all those types of things because I don't need that for this purpose. Right? So the animation workspace itself, we are barely scratching the surface on what its capabilities are. Okay? So, again... Knowing what we're, we're going with here, um, this is a real quick and easy way to take your assembled assembly and disassemble it. Believe it or not, I've seen people use the move command in the design workspace um, to create a version of this, and that's not at all what it's designed for. Okay, so what happens here is this is the disassembled version view of it, right? When I go back into um, the design workspace, it's all assembled, right? So what the animation workspace does is it says, okay, well, I'm gonna take the B rep of the models and allow you to create different positional representations and leave the design alone, right? You still want the design as is. So if I wanna put that 
um, exploded view onto a drawing. I just go file new drawing and I know we haven't touched on drawings at all in the series. We will. Um, we're going to have 50 videos by the time series is done, I think. But <laughs> you just say new drawing from animation, pick your sheet, sheet size. You got to be careful when you say sheet size on video, it can really come out wrong. But I'm going to go ahead and place my drawing view, determine the scale, plop it down on the, uh, on the sheet here. Um, and you know, you can play with the styles a little bit. Um, in the video, I was almost going to edit this out, but I just wanted to show, look, you can do shaded views. Um, you know, it, it looks okay. You can do, you can change the tangency edges and all those types of things to get a really nice view. Get the view that you're looking for. Um, but this will, this will be fine. Um, hit it, um, hidden edges here uh, just in a, you know, if I'm going to take this and export it out, um, you know, as a PDF, put it into a book, um, print it out, whatever, you know, this, this would be a just fine view. Now I'm a little ashamed at myself, um, for not putting in the appropriate part numbers and descriptions. Um, as soon as I plop that, that, uh, that parts list down, um, I'm just going to call myself out on it before any of you call me out on it for being lazy. Yeah, my bad. But you know, these things are associated and we can fix them. So you saw that like, like the, the, the hex nut and the washer are, you know, I don't want to change the scale of the drawing. Let's just let's just bring these things in a little tighter. Um, so these views are so associative. It's not a one-time snapshot, right? So it'll tell me, hey, your your exploded views out of um, out of reference. Um, go ahead and update, and uh, I'm back to where I, where I want to go. Now you're not limited to the exploded view in these sheets, right? You can just go ahead and say, you know, I, I also want the um, um, the model view of this assembly as well. Um, one to one and um, yeah, uh, so we're good to go. If you saw at the beginning of this, this was the multi-body version. It teases out the next video. I'm going to show you how to do this thing using multi-body top down. Stay tuned.